you still start at the same place, which is Hard Scrabble Road. We're about nine tenths of a mile up the dirt road from where the dirt road starts. Park here, there's parking there. And if there's no parking right up there where this guy's coming down, there's a place to park up there too. And here's the beginning of the trail. We will see you at the split. All right, here we are at the beginning of the fork. So <clears throat> as you come up, or I should say, yeah, north on Pine Strawberry Trail, it comes up this way and you end up right here at this fork. Come here, Andy. And a couple hundred yards in and we are already in a thicket of trees. Awesome windy trail. And on the mountain bike, it's really fun, except when I came through here on the bike, it was really, really sunny. And this GoPro has a real hard time with uh, adjusting lighting between the shadows and the sunlight. So everywhere that the sun came through, it was completely washed out, even with exposure correction and lightness correction still. And he's right behind me on the leash. See, come on, wait, come on. He has to leave a message for all the other dogs. Okay. And so you can see how perfectly cut this trail is. Instead of going straight down and up that, it perfectly winds around just enough. There it is right there. Go boy, go on, go. Contours the mountain way better than it used to. This trail is A plus. Awesome, isn't it? Comes right around. Just to show you where we were, we came right through that little area there. Cool tree, huh, Andy? All right, let's go, go on. And you got a great view of Milk Ranch Point over there across the way. All right, and just a minute or two later, we are here at the Oak Grove, I call it. Oak trees have a grove of oaks that are very beautifully changing color to yellow. Okay, note to self, this is brand new. There's a big carcass right there. So if you have a dog, just don't let your dog get to that carcass. Come on, boy. I didn't see that yesterday, but it doesn't look brand new either. So it must have been dragged there by some sort of animal. That's my guess. Onward ho. And there's a deer stand right up there, or elk stand, whatever you call it. Come on. All right, Andy's right behind me now.
feels like I'm in an enchanted forest. These alligator junipers have incredible personality to them. There's our view on the trail. And then this part is really cool. Let's get the camera nice and low. Stand. Cool, huh? Comes right around here. And let's take a look at where we just were. We went right through that awesome area. Okay, come on, boy. Leave it. Go ahead. Come on, boy. Go. This trail is really exciting. Not boring at all. Even when you're walking on a mountain bike, it's like 10 times better. I rode this the other day, but my camera stabilizer wasn't working. And I didn't want to post that video and make you guys sick. So I came through with the handheld gimbal this time. So yeah, gimbal one hand, dog in the other. From here, down there you could see, let me just aim down here. The other trail is right down there goes up and they meet right around that corner there. Okay Andy, let's go. Go. Tilt it down a little bit. Come on. There's another hiker in front of us. Andy wants to go say hi. So he's on high alert. Go on. And as you can see, so this probably the steepest pitch here where it connects back to the old trail. Come around the corner here. Andy, stop. And I'm going to turn off the Strava here. So this particular Strava that I'm posting is only this new stretch. And come down here and here's the other fork right here. So as you can see, if you're going southbound, see, then you're going to want to take a right it's obviously a right turn but if you're going north it's a left turn all right over and out from fat bike skinny legs and pine mascot andy